You are in the Elden Ring, and all of a sudden you see Scarlet Rot pop up on the screen, and you are taking considerable damage and at a quicker pace than Poison. What's going on Supreme Team, you're here with Jedi Supreme, and today we are asking another important question in Elden Ring. What is Scarlet Rot? Scarlet Rot is a status effect similar to Poison, in Bleed, that has a bar that pops up. The more you are hit with Scarlet Rot, the more the bar fills. Once that bar is full, you are inflicted with Scarlet Rot. Now think of Scarlet Rot as a poison on steroids. It builds up quickly, drains slowly, and once it procs, drains a considerable amount of your health quickly compared to a slow, manageable burn of poison. Scarlet Rot drains health based on a percentage of your max health, like Bleed, so it's always going to do considerable damage. The trade-off is that the Scarlet Rot effect lasts less than the poison effect once it procs. Scarlet Rot can be encountered in various areas of the game, but one such notable location in Elden Ring that is dense with Scarlet Rot is Kaled. This area, marked with its blood red sky, has various enemies that will inflict Scarlet Rot, and there's even a large swamp in the area that will inflict Scarlet Rot. If you're going into this area, you're going to want to have decent Scarlet Rot protection. So, how to prevent Scarlet Rot? First off, the best stat to upgrade to prevent against Scarlet Rot is Vigor. Upgrading Vigor increases your immunity, which raises your protection against Scarlet Rot. The higher your immunity, the slower Scarlet Rot will build. An important thing to note is that immunity will slow the buildup of Scarlet Rot, but will not reduce the damage taken if Scarlet Rot occurs. There is a number of different equipment that you can use to boost your defense against Scarlet Rot, such as the Guardian Armor Set, the Immunizing Horn Charm, and consumables, such as Immunizing Cured Meat. Once you're inflicted with Scarlet Rot, you're going to want to get rid of this effect pretty quickly, which can be done by using consumables, such as Preserving Boluses, or an incantation called Flame Cleanse Me. Scarlet Rot is a nasty status effect, but you can also inflict this on enemies. How do I inflict Scarlet Rot? There are a number of weapons that inflict Scarlet Rot, such as the Rotten Crystal Sword, or the Rotten Hammer, along with incantations such as Rotten Breath. If you want to deal even more Scarlet Rot, then there is also Spirit Summons, such as the Rotten Stray, or items that can be applied to your weapon, such as Rot Grease, or throwables like the Rot Pot. A build is possible with Scarlet Rot. You're going to be a bit limited when it comes to spells, but there is a decent amount of weapons that passively inflict Scarlet Rot. A weapon I recommend is the Ant Spirit Rapier, which can have an Ashes of War applied to it giving it some more depth and being able to apply other effects when needed. Keep in mind that some enemies will be immune or resistant to Scarlet Rot, especially in Kaled, so make sure to have some backup equipment in mind. Should I worry about Scarlet Rot? Overall, Scarlet Rot can be a devastating status effect that can't be ignored in certain parts of Elden Ring, so you'll need to learn to deal with it, but the good thing is, it can go both ways, being able to deal that same punishment to enemies. If you want to know the story behind Scarlet Rot, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for an upcoming video discussing the lore behind Scarlet Rot. That's an overview of what Scarlet Rot does in Elden Ring. Do you use Scarlet Rot? It is certainly one of the more interesting effects in the game that can produce big results. Do you have any questions you want answered in Elden Ring? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to give a like if this video helped you out, and check out my other videos detailing other stats and effects in Elden Ring, such as Bleed and Arcane. Thanks guys, you've been watching Jadic Supreme.